Child Find is a process that's uh, regulated by the um, federal government um, and it mandates us to be able to uh, find children who are eligible for special education services. So our mission is to go out and do public service announcements and to find the children and answer the phone calls of parents that are coming in and bring those children in to test them and, and determine whether or not they're eligible for special education. We are responsible for testing children ages two through five. Um, and, and it's free of charge. Uh, as a part of the special education law, um, child find services, the testing, as well as the preschool special education services, once children are found eligible, are free to the families. We test children and we provide services for children for a variety of concerns. We have children with very significant delays and we have children with very mild delays. Um, in development and those services are so vital at this age. What the research shows that if we are able to provide early intervening services for children who are having difficulties, their outcomes later in life are so much better. Uh, we can see um, a difference in their language skills, we can see a difference in their reading and math skills as they get into elementary school. And our mission is to help children be ready for kindergarten. Uh, we want to make sure that they have every possible benefit of their education and we're just the start of their, of their educational career. So we're going to do sound field, right? So what we're looking for when we bring a child in for testing is to determine whether or not they are functioning within their um, normal age equivalents. So um, a two-year-old child functioning the way a two-year-old child should be functioning. And if they're not, then we find them eligible for special education services and then we provide them the services, that, those early intervening services to, to help them out and, and help them to overcome some of their difficulties. In our program, once a child is found eligible for services, uh, we will sit down with the parents and develop an educational plan. And at that educational plan meeting, we will determine what level of service your child requires in order to benefit from their education. We have services where um, our, our teachers will come out and provide services in the natural setting, like the home or a private community daycare center. And we also have services where your child can come into one of our elementary schools and attend one of our preschool classrooms. We also have special classes for children with autism or autism spectrum disorders. What sound have we been working on? S. S. And can you show me your very best S sound? S. Good. And what sound do we not want to make? We don't want to make any. Enough no. No, no sounds. That's right. We don't want As an early childhood no resource sound. teacher, I have the opportunity and the privilege um, to work not just with children, but to work with their families. Uh, we go into their homes, we go into okay. preschools, we go into daycares, and we work with children in their natural environment to address their deficit areas, in the, often in the area of speech and language. Some children that are found eligible for our program also may have uh, deficits in fine motor or gross motor, but mostly the kids that the resource teachers work with are kids with communication concerns. Um, this program is really vital for getting children ready for school. Um, some children that are having difficulty communicating may have behavioral concerns too because they can't express themselves. They can't share their wants and needs and their thoughts. They don't know how to interact with their peers. So it's all encompassing all the different areas of development. They have their specific IEP goals but they also need help in learning to communicate in their natural environment and use those language skills. Typically we bring a lot of toys. Um, some people jokingly refer to us as the bag ladies. Um, we will bring books, we'll bring toys, we'll bring games and puzzles because preschoolers really do learn best through play and through active involvement. Um, addressing their needs but in a way that they can enjoy and that the family can then see how they can incorporate that into his nat the child's natural environment on a day-to-day -day basis. As soon as our teacher, Chris, had come into our home from the moment, I know we didn't know her, and it was just opening up our home to her, and um, she made us feel very comfortable. And from the get-go, it's just 
um, she would bring materials to us and she would work and I would see how she worked with my child during the week and then I would take the materials that were left and during the week I would try to incorporate it into our everyday life, playing games with him and try to work on those pieces. And basically week by week it was like a puzzle that came together and I seen him grow and, and build every week from it. Parent involvement is very important. Um, you're right there with your child. It's not like you're separated, you do it together. You're a team and it's, and it's a relationship that you built with your child, with your teacher, and it just becomes really natural. Just don't feel intimidated. Just, it's something good for your child. As a resource teacher, the most wonderful part is to be able to work with families, um, to help them understand what they can do because it really is the parents that are the most important teacher for a preschooler and helping parents understand how important they are and what they can do to help their child is really a big part of my job uh, and a part that I really enjoy. To watch my children grow, to to know Chris, our, our teacher, as a person, and it really has been a blessing. It's helped them um, to grow, not even with their speech, but just, you know, they think so fondly of, of her, just as our whole family has, and she's become a, um, a big part of our family because she has made a difference for us. She's made it easier to communicate with our children. It's made it easier to see them grow. She's been a big part of this whole, to be honest, of our family unit. She's been a big part of this family unit who's bonded us, brought us together because of communication is key in this world and it's something that she's made easy with our kids. Wow, Yay. very good. Okay, I'll take that one. Okay. Ella, this is an airplane. Show me an airplane down here. All right, let's look at the next page. Providing early intervening services are so important and we encourage uh, all families that might have uh, any uh, question about their child's development to give us a call. So if any of your family members or if any of, of your private preschool teachers or uh, daycare providers um, have, have suggested that you contact ChildFind, that's a great reason to give us a call. Um, or if you yourself have noticed that, the, uh, that your child is having difficulty with their language, they're not keeping up with their peers on the playgrounds, um, they're not able to socially interact with another peer appropriately, or they're having some behavioral concerns. And then also fine and gross motor skills if they're not able to actively move the way that other children the same age would. Those would all be really great reasons to give us a call.